Welcome back to the collector's table. It's that 80s nostalgic toy guy again. And today we have something pretty cool. Uh, fresh from uh, Super 7. Hey everybody, this is Brian from Super 7 and I'm here today to talk to you about our ultimate line of figures. We have the Michelangelo 7 inch ultimates figure we're going to unbox. This is the first of the four turtles uh sets of ultimates figures i'm going to be opening we're going to start out with michelangelo you're about to be shell shocked he is my favorite we're going to move on to Raphael, donatello and leonardo after that we're putting the band back together and then we're going to go on down the line we got shredder we've got splinter <laughs> We've got Casey Jones. We've got six, seven, eight other of these uh, Ultimates figures to uh, to unbox. So, without further ado, let's get this Super 7, 7 inch Ultimate Michelangelo out of this box. Happy birthday to Mott. Happy birthday, dear Michelangelo. All right, so uh, all these Ultimates figures from Super 7 come to these great. Uh, they call them mailers or shipping boxes themselves because they can actually ship like this uh, But uh, I do not like them to have any kind of like shipping labels or anything put on these things um, They are awesome extra uh, protective uh, mailers, which I really love that aspect of them uh, But sometimes these tabs give a little bit of an issue. So I've adopted the uh, scissor method as I call it uh, of opening this box how I open up the uh, the other um, boxes with this uh, under the uh, the little uh, lip um, piece here. I go in here and take this and pop it in there and pull it out like this, and it pops out very nicely. If you try doing it with your hands, I, I've noticed that I, I end up uh, kind of tearing or fraying all the edges of this thing. This little thing that pops out of there, that tab. And I've done it so often that uh, I've just adopted the uh, the scissor <laughs> technique for this. Uh, this pops open very nicely, just like that. We're working on getting this thing out of the box really quickly. Uh, Ultimates figures from Super 7 have great packaging, and uh, I love opening up these figures. So, right out of the box there, we see that front part with the nice turtle green and the sewer cover there with the turtle on the front there. Um, and we got Michelangelo right there. We're going to go ahead and pop this um, plastic off here, this plastic covering. It's held on by tape. Pull it off and I fold the tape over. Uh, I know all of you in the box collectors are starting to get very anxious and nervous right now. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Your stuff is still safe. Your stuff is still safe. Go ahead and live vicariously through these. We're going to pull that plastic piece off right there. We're going to turn it around. We're going to find that classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo right there. Turtle power. Very, very nice. The packaging on these things are great um, for displaying uh, and for protecting. Uh, it has the Ultimates logo there on the top. We have the Super 7 logo and some information on the bottom. And the sides are just plain. Now, we got to reveal the other other box part so we grab the bottom there we'll pull it like this and let you see there you go there he is it's Michelangelo and all those accessories yes all those accessories uh, super 7 spared no expense absolutely no expense really spectacular spared no expense absolutely no expense and recreating all those classic um, accessories and weapons and everything that these characters go with. Let me tell you, they do not. Um, so we're going to get all this stuff out of the box. We're going to go through it piece by piece and uh, and uh, maybe uh, pop in a little bit of comparison to the uh, classic uh, vintage Michelangelo. And Michelangelo, the new shackles. Radical. This is based off the, uh, the 80s cartoon and the first run of action figures. So this is, um, their inspiration is from that. On top here, we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo. Um, you see that, that nice 
open face there, that open plastic piece where you can see inside there. Just see all those beautiful pieces. Got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Michelangelo logo there. The side and around the edges we have lots of that brickwork from all the, the stuff down in the sewers. And on the back there's really cool, really cool artwork um, to look at. Uh, if you decide to display him like this in the box like this, you could have him in a way that where you could see some of that artwork. Um, and it's got the Super 7 logo and uh, we have the, uh, the uh, like the card. So the original um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pieces, uh, action figures, toys, and I have every single one of them from wave one all the way through, I think, 93 or 94. I'm here today because I'm addicted. So I've got, I've got a ton of Turtles memorabilia, classic and, uh, and new. Uh, but they came with cards. I've got every single one of them with their cards. This is the this is um, Super 7's version of the card and it's right there. It has a lot of the same information as the classic card. That is just a nice extra added piece. Um, you know for me I kind of like to set up uh, in my case when I have space a, a piece like this with this um, sitting like this maybe at an angle a little bit and then my little stand with my uh, action figure sitting off to the side where I can kind of see some of that writing. Uh, when you when when a creator uh, makes, um, when a toy creator, action figure creator, collectible creator takes the time to do these kinds of things and this artwork, that's, that's part of the figure as well. And I like to try to display that if I can, but my piece is out of the box, of course. I like to be able to grab it, move it around, touch it, feel it. Now I am making your silver pants blue. You know, coming in here if I can get something looking at me like it's fighting, then I can come in here and just kind of get lost in these these pieces. <laughs> That's how much I like these things. It's got one piece of uh, uh, tape here, so we're just going to snip it right here, just a little bit. I do not like to tear up these boxes, so I just get underneath there and just kind of run it along there. It works very well. I know from experience how these are. These are very finicky. Uh, the Ultimate Figures lips are very finicky, so I'm gonna be gentle when I pop up on this, and it's it's being finicky right now. But I don't want to tear it up. Uh, uh, I don't like to tear these edges. So I uh, there we go. There's that piece. Like I said, these Ultimate Figures pieces are finicky, so I do not want to tear those things. We gotta tear it up, it up. Fold this stuff up very well because I do not want to have. Any piece caught on these lips of these uh, folded cardboard pieces, because I don't want to break them out of the box. I want my pieces to stay nice and pristine. So this comes from experience. I've had a couple pieces get caught on the edges and actually break them or, or, or mess them up. I don't want that to happen. All right, here we go. Michelangelo and accessories. Right there, right there. There's nothing else in this box. We're gonna set this off to the side. Just nice packaging. Very nice packaging. I like that a lot. I think Moto Moto like you. There he is. There's Michelangelo. Uh, he's got that that just that awesome, glowing, um, classic orange uh, uh, headband piece. The eye the eye band. The mask. The covering right there. And he's got. If you can see. Uh, he's got all of his updated um, weapons that are like updated, beautiful, nice, detailed uh, weapons and accessories that are all based on his classic um, weapons and accessories. And they have those new ones in there, as you can see. And then in here, you will see kind of floating around, it kind of got. It kind of it kind of got knocked out of its spot, but that that right there, that brown piece right there, you see down there at the bottom, that is actually the classic uh, weapons rack with all the weapons attached to it that all of our classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles pieces came with back in the day. And uh, I still have a ton of the late '80s and right around 1990. All those first waves, I still have all those racks, a lot of them that are all still intact. And uh, those things are really cool. Um, the, the weapons racks are really, really nice. So this is all looking like to me, just a nice 
nice package of, of just Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles nostalgia. Uh, just very nostalgic seeing this thing. I remember the first time I opened up one of my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures back in the day, and I was just as excited then as I am right now of seeing this thing. Um, uh, I had tons of those things back when I was a kid. The party wagon, the blimp, you name it, I had it. The sewer um, uh, set, play set, and everything, I had that. I still do. We're going to go over that in a future video as well. Um, but this is all about uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super 7 Ultimates figure, 7 inch Michelangelo. We're going to get him out of the box. I'm going to pull this. Uh, extra piece out. There's an extra piece of plastic back here that houses a couple of these accessories. And um, oh, I see as I do that, there's a piece of tape here. So I'm going to snip a little bit of this tape off here. And that just runs right up there. I don't have to take the whole thing off, so I'm not. We're going to pop this weapons rack out there. Let's see, will it stand up? Will it stand up? We're going to pop that weapons rack out right there, let it lean up against there. And then I'm going to pop out a couple of these accessories here, back here, being, uh, let's see, three extra sets of hands. So he's got four sets of hands total, and I'm popping out those three extra sets of hands and a set of nunchucks. A fellow chucker, eh? A set of nunchucks that are stationary. So these are like, they're rigid nunchucks. You really can't do any movement or anything. So these are a whole extra set of nunchucks um, that you know, that are like really stiff, but the paint job and everything is really great. We're gonna have close-ups of all the weapons and accessories at the end of this video. Stay tuned for that. While we're talking about the end of the video, let's go ahead and, and thank everyone out there uh, for watching this video, for subscribing, for viewing, for following, for clicking, for liking, for for uh, everything you do that makes my channel a success. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You won't be sorry, you won't regret it, and you won't miss a thing. Go ahead, while you're there, do that. Go ahead and hit that bell, that little bell there. That way you get notified of every video that I post. If you look, click on the on the notification, you see a video you like, go ahead and watch it. If it's, if it's something that doesn't interest you, go ahead and move on. There's plenty of stuff to do, and I'll have plenty more up. All right, so back to Michelangelo. There he is, he looks very nice. We have the three sets of hands. We have the, the rigid nunchucks. We have the weapons rack that we're gonna set now right here because I'm gonna move this. And we're gonna get Michelangelo out of here. Michelangelo has this uh, twisty tie. Hi, I'm uh, Tommy the Twist Tie. A twisty tie piece back here. It's a you know, it's not metal on plastic, which is good. Like, so it's not straight metal that's that's covering, that's going over our plastic uh, um, action figure pieces, which is very nice. It's a plastic covered metal that uh, goes around them. So it doesn't do any kind of damage or scratching of the character. Scratch! Oh my stars! All right, let's get Mikey out of here. Let's be very careful. There's tabs and everything in here. Uh, that hold him in there so pull those out pull those away from him and we reveal this nice heavy duty plastic like uh really really articulating i think it's got 20 22 maybe points of articulation i could be off a little bit on that but it's, i know it's 20 plus pieces of articulation on mikey and there he is um He's got that nice M there on his belt. He's got the nice shell there with lots of grooves and really texture on this guy. He's got texture all over his, uh, you know, his uh, shell and then his uh, torso area there, the other part of the shell. The underbelly of the shell uh, is really nice. He's got some damage on there, like he's been sliced. I just noticed that. That's pretty neat. He's got that... Uh, <laughs> Like he's getting real, I think it looks like the, the mad look there. Because we got the mad look there. And uh, like uh, he's snarling or whatever. And then we got the open mouth look over here. It looks really cool. Uh, you got all those orange uh, bands around his elbow and wrists and knees. 
just a really nice classic look and feel and just all this articulation. So we have his shoulders that move around a lot uh, really well. They can move all the way around. Uh, and then he's got a, where he can move his arm up and down here. He's got another piece of articulation there. So we articulate there, we articulate there. Then we find out where is his elbow joint at? Because I don't want to bend it wrong. Okay, there we go. And then he bends right there. And we bend at the wrist all the way around. Does he do another way of bending? Yes, he does. His, uh, his arm, actually, there's a piece that tells you which way his hand will go. And that's the way his hand goes, like that. Wasn't he pointing the other way? Of course, people do go both ways. Uh, same thing over here uh, as we're moving down from the head and the shoulders we went over the the chest we went over the the shell the belt on the back has all the little loops and everything in there to hold all his different weapons um, it will these actually are all made a, uh, from the same kind of mold and casting these uh, updated pieces that are painted really nicely and detailed and the old pieces that are just that flat brown piece uh, or flat brown color uh, they are all basically molded from the same mold these are just painted uh, better and more detail uh, this right here will hold each one of these weapons that it holds the same way uh, we move down to the waist uh, he has no uh, no actually he has an articulating waist an articulating waist uh, that can have him move with his legs and everything, however you want to pose him. But he also has these really, really crazy articulating <laughs> hips right there, which is awesome. Mikey could do the splits while he's beating the crap out of somebody or while he's eating a piece of pizza. It works! Now to take a test drive! <gasps> uh, but yeah, these guys are ninjas, so they need to be very flexible. That is great right there. And then it's got that uh, ball and socket uh, joint that makes it so that he can you can just just really you can mess with this thing and get him posed in so many different ways uh, the the uh, paint job on him is really good they 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 did some light green you can't really see it very well but they did some light green and some dark green to uh, do the shadowy effect to really pop those muscles on on this guy which is really nice to, uh, also, I'll bend this knee here. We're going down here. The knee's been like this. Very nice. Uh, if you can look and see at the toes and the feet, they did a lot of detailed work on the feet. I like feet. I do not know why. A very good job, Super 7, on that. I really like that. I really love Super 7's figures. I've got tons of them, tons to unbox, and i got tons on pre-order. Uh, the Super 7 uh, unboxing videos and review videos are, are going to be uh, really off the chain moving forward there's a lot of cool stuff so for you super seven fans we've got a lot of stuff to unbox a lot of stuff to add to the collection just uh click that subscribe button you will not miss those videos i will unbox every super seven piece i have um i've got most most super seven collections that aren't don't have to do with like the anime stuff and, and that kind of stuff but i got like the monster stuff the godzilla stuff Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. All right, we got uh, Silver Hawk stuff coming. We got all the Thundercats Ultimates figures coming. Um, just everything. Uh, G.I. Joe Ultimates figures. We got uh, Bruce Lee Ultimates figures coming. Uh, we got Andre the Giant, uh, Conan Super 7. We All of it. We got it all for you. Coming back. All of it. It's coming. But today's Super 7 figure is Michelangelo. He's looking awesome. Sounds like my kind of creature. <laughs> oh, the table gods have spoken. They have allowed Michelangelo to stand up there like that. Uh, hey, how about we go ahead and he's got these open hands. How about we go ahead and just stick a nunchuck, <laughs> a rigid nunchuck in his hand. See how that looks. <laughs> just while we're doing this video here. Uh, let's see. Is it? Oh yeah, they're movable. Yeah. So sometimes it, you know these things are meant to hold these things. So these these uh, toy creators make them so that you can kind of move and manipulate the uh, uh, hands. Uh, so you can open them a little bit and put and stick your pieces in there. Don't force it, uh, which is pretty nice. So we got the weapons rack. We got the three extra sets of hands. We got one of our cool first uh, accessories here. This is a box of pizza with a pizza slice and a pepperoni piece inside there. One slice. 
Michelangelo. Really cool little piece there. It's made of really hard plastic, really hard and thick plastic. Really cool. Um, it's got some cheese, <laughs> melted cheese at the top, but man, we do that all the time. Melted cheese on the top of that box. How many times has that happened to you? Oh gosh, countless times. Especially that fresh pizza. Yo, Mikey, mm -hmm. toss me a ninja slice. Donnie, Statue of Liberty. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's a really, really neat display piece right there. Um, this cool accessory right here is a throw-in. This piece right here was not a piece of the classic um, accessories pack and everything. This is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Shell Grappling Hook. That thing is absolutely cool. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Shell Grappling Hook. Very, very nice accessory piece right there. We're going to set that right there next to Michelangelo. Okay, we now we have the set of nunchucks that actually are workable, uh, working nunchucks with metal, um, the metal chain that's in there, made with the metal chain. Um, very nice. These things, these figures, these pieces are very nicely, very nicely made. Um, everything's metal all the way up to, all the way up to the handle. Uh, just. The, the nunchuck game on this character is very nice. It's a big nunchuck game. <laughs> okay, we have the turtle fist daggers here. Man, three di two different types here. Turtle fist daggers here. That he grabs a hold of that and puts his hand through there and just really could do some damage. These are awesomely painted. Uh, versions of the ones that are inside there. So as you see, we have that that one right there, this one right here, and they are both here in the painted version, right here in my hand, in the painted version, and the old version. I really like that. Also, as you see, the nunchucks there, the two sets of uh, awesomely painted nunchucks, they're on the side here. Nunchuck, nunchuck. So we have the uh, those uh, nunchucks there. We just went over that uh, uh, weapons rack there, the really cool weapons rack from the old days, the vintage stuff. From Our classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles characters. Those things were cool, but uh, good old um, Super 7 has taken just a step further. They've just modernized all this stuff, all these weapons, and just turned them into really cool modern collectibles but still with that with that vintage feel they didn't uh they didn't go crazy on these things they didn't recreate uh the teenage mutant ninja turtles uh classic toy line they just improved in areas that they could improve on while still keeping that nostalgic feel for us uh collectors the ones who they're they're aimed at um they're uh you know they're also aiming at getting new people of course because they want to sell their product uh but they know who they know who the brunt of uh, the buyers are going to be. It's going to be us, us crazy collectors, uh, nostalgic collectors who uh, grew up with this stuff. I present to you Tanalia Tevar, the collector. And uh, I'm, I'm not the only one. I'm one of millions that probably bought this this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set here. And uh, we got a couple more uh, weapons here and a head sculpt to pull out. So let's do it. We've got a couple of the ninja throwing stars there. <laughs> Gotta have those. I think those came with almost every ca classic character, uh, the good guys at least. And I think maybe the foot soldier and shredder back in the day, these ninja throwing stars came with everybody. Um, as you can see up here, they're on top of this weapons rack right there. Um, these are silver silver painted and everything really nice too nice nice and then we have one last weapon here and we can we can get this alternate head sculpt out of here and uh and just kind of go through uh michelangelo in entirety one more time one more time it is the comma this uh this could be you know this the crazy thing is this could be used as a as a uh, farming tool 
or a or just a you know foot soldier butt kicking weapon uh, this tape is about come up which is sickles in english man i all, all i see there is just you know enemy an enemy terrorizer i don't see i don't see a uh, the farming tool in that, but there, there are actually, you know, um, uh, farming tools that are made just like this. Um, but uh, Michelangelo, of course, is not farming unless he's farming pizza. <laughs> uh, but uh, nope, that's uh, that's one of the weapons that comes with them. Um, it is also featured up here um, in the weapons rack. So that basically Super 7 just touched up the old classic uh, weapons of Michelangelo and, and put them all together for us there. It's a nice color, it's a really nice color palette there. I like the, uh, I really do like the gold uh, on brown and then that silver, that makes a really good, really good uh, color palette there. We're painting with about a dozen oil colors. And uh, it's gonna display very well. A nice little contrast to uh, uh, Michelangelo's colors there, that bright, vibrant orange. And these 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 colors of greens on on these uh, uh, Ultimates characters um, from Super Seven, these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I, I just love the colors. colors. Let's get this alternate head sculpt out. We have this uh, extra head sculpt here, which is I I, you know, I call that like. You know, uh, Michelangelo butt kicking sculpt. Cowabunga, dudes! How'd you make all of those knees? Let's just go with that right there, because he is like, that looks like, uh, it's not a smile, or anything. I think he looks like he is like going after someone, because he's got those, <clears throat> and we'll show, we'll show a close up of this at the end of the video. Got the wrinkles there, at the, in between the eyes. Like he is just, well, he is mad. And he's going after someone. Someone took his last piece of pizza, and uh, he is going after them. <laughs> Michelangelo, one of his famous sayings is "Cowabunga, dude!" Cowabunga, dude! Uh, for those of you who are like our passive Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans, who uh, just yeah, everybody knows "Cowabunga, dude." I mean, gosh, when we were younger, we used to go to school and be saying that stuff throughout the hallways and in class and stuff. It was just. Yeah, it doesn't matter how old you were, we we're teenagers. I have always liked Kawabunga. Hmm? Huh? Kawabunga! So, all those pieces there make up the party dude, the party turtle, the, uh, the radical, totally awesome, cool Michelangelo. Um, I'm going to pull this thing back here. We're going to kind of go over a couple more things here. Uh, I know we've went over uh, most everything on on Michelangelo here from his uh, orange colored um, headband and wristband and elbow and knee pads and we've went over all the ar uh, points of articulation with him and his feet and everything and his, and his shell uh, but just one more little close-up look here um, of the turtle the myth the legend uh, Michelangelo. Truly tubuloso. My favorite uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle of all time. <laughs> yeah, I've got a, I've got uh, I've, I've, all of my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collectibles. Uh, I think I've got uh, more extras of Michelangelo than I do any other uh, of my turtles. Um, I do like Shredder though. Uh, as a bad guy, Shredder is a really cool and awesome bad guy. So I do have a lot of like extras of Shredder. Your hairy little friend knows me as Oroku Saki. But you may call me the Shredder. You know, I'm not into the extras game, so I don't buy extras of my of my characters. I just want of my my collectibles. I just want one because there's so many um, sets of collectibles that I like that I I just can only really afford to buy one of each because I, I can't afford to have one in the box and one on display. So I've chosen just to do one on display, and then every once in a while there's one that really hits me, and I'll grab one. Uh, to keep in the box uh that's just that's just how i roll um and i got a lot of friends that uh that uh, are in the box collectors and love them to death and i got some friends that are out of the box collectors love them to death too equally just uh i respect everyone and you will have my respect um i thank every single one of you guys uh for 
making my channel the success that it is. And uh, I appreciate you very much because without you collectors out there who are viewing this video as I have viewed other videos to get information on these uh, action figures before, during, or even after I buy them, uh, you know, this, this channel would not be the success it is. So I appreciate you guys very much. I got you all. Super 7 just did a uh, magnificent job of, of tossing in this classic weapons rack just to give you all of those. If you, if you haven't got the nostalgic feel at, at all with this and all the extras that come with this, the weapons rack, they're like, you know what, we're going to hit them with the weapons rack. And that's, uh, that's, a, that's a just an amazing piece right there that they did there. And they did a really good job there. All right. For a little comparison, I thought I'd bring up Mr. Michelangelo, classic Michelangelo. Oh, oh man, oh man, I'm taking just by going through this. I, I, I'm just going back to just eating, eating my bowl of cereal, and, and watching cartoons. We now return to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and just hogging up the remote for my brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'm the oldest, and I was bigger than them, so. I I I had control of the remote. That's just that's just how it went. You guys got a universal remote control back here? That's how it went in my house. <laughs> oh man, just the memories, the nostalgia, the, the the that's that's the awesome thing about these things. They bring back all those memories. Uh, but I figured I'd bring out my my original classic Michelangelo here and just show you uh, just a, just a little bit of the difference there. The size is definitely. A, a big difference. I uh, believe um, Michelangelo is supposed to be like around six to seven inches tall. So let's go that. Yep, looks like six inches tall. Yep. So we'll go, we'll show you there. Yep. Right around six inches tall. Uh, I do have him a little bit of a bend at the knee, so he's probably a little more than six inches tall, but you got to have him bent a little bit so he stands up there. They can't all be straight. Yeah, so he has six inches there, and he's a couple inches shorter here. So he's like through at three and a half to four inches tall. So you see that difference there. Um, more of a bright colored uh, orange here. This is more of a darker colored orange. A little bit darker green on here. Um, of course, with all the new technology and, and modern ways of, of, of sculpting these things, uh, there's a lot more detail in there. But there's not much, there's not much uh, difference in the way of the look. Because look at that, look at that face, and look at the look at the eyes, look at the the mouth, the way the mouth is there, the way the hands are held there. Um, Super Seven, they did their research, they did everything that they needed to do uh, to make these these characters um, look updated and look cool in the in the modern way of making collectibles and keeping that nostalgic feel so we have my totally awesome michelangelo there awesome totally awesome and totally tubular uh <laughs> michelangelo here it's totally tubular all right so then we have the weapons rack here now i've got uh i was able to go through and uh and find a couple of the weapons racks uh the really good uh, weapon ra weapons racks i have from the day the only piece that this one's missing, this is the original, and this is the new one. So, you know, they upscaled that, too, to scale with these guys right here. So, it's they scaled very well with everything. The only thing missing off this is the sides that have the uh, nunchucks. Uh, but that is, that's the old weapons rack. That's the new weapons rack. Um, and I've got a few of them that are still, to like, folded together. I think they're in a case somewhere with one of my other... Uh, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I got so many of these things right here, but uh, they're cool. Uh, this one's cool. This Michelangelo is cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All these ha uh, these multiple hands. Let's go ahead and do a, another right hand that's like an open hand because I'm going to hold something and we're going to go over taking this out. Let's see how they pop out. You know, <clears throat> that pops out pretty easily right there. Didn't even get a chance to say it, but it pops out easy. Most of the time, you just do a little twist and, and some and a push or a twist and a pull, and it comes out. It goes in nice and easy, and it uh, it rotates and it also does that kind of motion there. So you can you can kind of pose these guys in a, in a myriad of, of 
of positions. So we've seen uh, Michelangelo with his nunchucks. Uh, there. Let's see, which other one could we have here? Let's let's just see one of these uh, these daggers here. Let's just see what that goes, how that goes in there. Oh, that goes in there really nice. Yeah. Now I did something here I don't normally do, which I put this on uh, with. Uh, his hand being on there but you could do it either way as long as you're careful with it i just feel like if i put too much pressure on here where it connects to the wrist i just put too much pressure, pressure. put too much pressure i just feel like I'm, i have more of a possibility of breaking the piece that connects to the wrist uh and this one right here though fits very nicely and i didn't feel that but uh there he is with that fist dagger there um fits very nicely um, they did a very, very good job, uh, and I, I love Super Seven. So I, I mean, I, I already love or like the the collectibles that I buy already because I I'm 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 not paying this money just to have these things on my YouTube channel. It's awesome that I'm able to have them on my YouTube channel, but I am buying these things because I love them. Uh, I want them, and I want them in my display in my collector's uh, cases. Um, I'm not buying these to, to put on my channel. <laughs> I don't make that kind of money. money. That's just how I am. Uh, but these, um, uh, these, extra um, these extra accessories right here are just great. They're great. So we've went over all those accessories. They're all sitting here. We'll do a little close up video of those so you guys can see those. Uh, let's go ahead and just, uh, you know, we're here doing the video. Let's see the last thing we need to do here is see how this head pops off. <laughs> All right. So we just do a little twist and a pull here and it pops right off there. Nice little, that's a long neck. <laughs> that is, that is long, you know, but Hey, it's a turtle. He's got to, that, that head's got to pop out, you know, because in the in the cartoons and in the movies and all that stuff, you see multiple multiple scenes where <laughs> their their heads go into the shell, they come out just like a regular turtle. <laughs> they are turtles, uh, and then so we're taking off that classic look, uh, Michelangelo head sculpt, and we're gonna go ahead and take this. I'm gonna kick your butt for taking my last piece of pizza head sculpt. Push and twist. And it pops right on there and it moves around very nice and freely. There is a difference I see in this. I see that this one that comes with him on him, the classic look, uh, has got a shorter headband um, extra, uh, the flowing out piece right there after it's been tied or whatever. It's got an extra, it's longer and everything. I really like that. I like that. I like extra stuff. So um, my, my collector's hobby room is... Is overflowing with extra stuff and I keep adding extra stuff to it but that has been Super 7's ultimate figure uh, Michelangelo 112 scale with all those accessories we got the classic weapons rack there Mr. Optimus Prime is going to be a, a, a gentleman and hold that up for me we have all the hand hand pieces we have the extra head sculpt we have all these newer, updated uh, weapons. The nunchucks, the comma, the uh, stationary nunchucks, the uh, ninja throwing stars. Uh, we have a couple of these fist daggers here. Uh, we have it all. And thank you Super 7 for, for creating these awesome pieces. Thank every one of you so much for watching this video, for liking the video, for commenting, for subscribing and if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button down there uh, you won't regret it and you won't miss a thing this has been that Asian nostalgia toy guy thanking you once again for watching another one of my uh, unboxing and review videos um, if you look forward to more fun and entertaining unboxing and review videos go ahead and hit that subscribe button uh, I hope to see you guys again real soon
If you like this video, if you like the one before and the one before, and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it very much. Uh, if you look forward to more fun and entertaining videos like the one you just watched, go ahead and click that subscribe button. As always, I am that 80s Nostalgic Toy Guy, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.